When we last left off, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 improved everything Pro Skater 1 started and was an awesome sequel to an already awesome game. With Pro Skater 2 being the great game it was, of course they would make another one. There's both a PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 version of Pro Skater 3. I did play the PlayStation 1 version of it when I was a young little boy, but I don't have it anymore. I do have the PlayStation 2 version, which, you know, is probably the better version. Even though Pro Skater 2 was a great game, Pro Skater 3 is the Pro Skater 2 as what Pro Skater 2 is the Pro Skater 1. It takes Pro Skater 2 and makes it better than it already was. First of all, the Neversoft logo this time around is alright, but you know, after 2, you just kinda, it just kinda goes downhill, in a way. I don't know, the one from Underground is pretty good, but we'll, we'll get that, we'll get that, let's just go on. So in contrast to the Neversoft logos constantly getting not as great, the intros for the Pro Skater games keep getting better, kinda. That's all opinionated, I guess. Maybe it's the way the footage is edited, or maybe it's just because Ace of Spades by Motorhead is a sweet song to listen to while cool dudes skate around. But this intro is really cool and sets up the game pretty well. Once again, we got the classic skaters and some new skaters added to the roster, including everyone's favorite jackass, Mr. Bam Margera. Woohoo, he's important leader. You can once again create a skater, which this time around has a lot more customization features. I made what, whatever this is. Once again, we got no story, but we do still have the same arcade style Tony Hawk goals with 9 per stage consisting of high scores, collect letters, hit things, collect things, you know, everything that we've seen before already. The gameplay has been refined and tuned to be as smooth as butter, as well as adding a balance meter to when you grind. They also added a reaper, which is just switching your stance to switch, which, you know, is when you ride the opposite of what your natural is. A regular switch would be a goofy stance, and a goofy switch would be a regular stance. This is useful for continuing combos after doing air tricks off a of burp ramp. The stages, once again, are fun to explore and ride around in. They aren't as memorable this time around, but levels like Canada and the airport became classics. And I love the Tokyo levels, so hey, you know, good job on the level design. I don't know how to end the sentence. Honestly, this game really is just Pro Skater 2, just better. The soundtrack, once again, is really enjoyable to listen to. You got songs like Blitzkrieg Bop by the Ramones, Not the Same by Body Jar, 96 Quiet Quitter Beatings by CKY, and Amoeba by The Adolescents. You know that one song that was in Grand Theft Auto 5? You know the one. Once again, I'm gonna use a cheat code to show you the rest of the content in the game. This time, you actually type codes in, and if you type MAGIC MISSILE, you will get EVERY. <laughs> so when you beat the game, you unlock an FMV of your skater of choice skating around like the other two games. However, unlike the other two games, it's not just them skateboarding sometimes. We actually get to hear them talk and do other things. You wanna see Tony Hawk hang out with his dog and kid in his super awesome house? That's all he does is yell at the dog. <laughs> There you go. You wanna see Bam Margera doing jackass stuff? Go for it. Honestly though, my favorite has to be Eric Costin's, where you see him playing Pro Skater 2 while he isn't skating. Good morning. Maybe I'll get in a couple runs. I like to start my morning in, um, in Philly. It's super cheesy, but it makes me smile. There's also a bunch of extra movies, like Bales, the dev team skating, a kip flip contest, footage of the skaters skating when they were kids, as well as some of the dev team skating when they were kids. There's also a good amount of characters to unlock. Officer Jack, once again. Private Career makes a return. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The eyeball dude from the intro, some surfer, a demon lady, Wolverine, and Darth Maul. What? There's also a cruise ship level to unlock, as well as some levels from Pro Skater 1 that have been remastered. And that's Pro Skater 3. I know it's a short one, but honestly, there really isn't much else to talk about after already going over the previous two Pro Skater games. But I know for a fact I'll have a lot to talk about when we get into Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. So, uh, yeah, see, see, uh, um, yeah, see you then.